There was a scene in which I had to wear rubber breasts um, for comical effect, as if there were any other kind of effect you would wear them for. <laughs> um, opening a bank account, I don't think so. It can only be comical effect. He was a drinking, I think, and he was a, there were, there were, there were three sort of uh, beer buddies of, was it Blackadder or somebody else? Do you remember? Yeah, it was the White the, Adders. The White it? Adders, it that's Miriam right. Miriam and Margulies. Jim. That's Jim? right. Yeah. And uh, we, what, what were we? So it was a, a farce, wasn't it? There were the, the White Adders who were Puritans were coming to stay, and that's then right. the three drinking buddies were having it. Was it a stag party or something? Something of that nature. I've forgotten that, you see. Yeah, yeah. But it was hilarious. Yes, I hated it actually. Oh, did it. you? I, yeah, it was my least favourite episode. Okay, okay. So that was the first thing so I then, did. So then Prince Ludwig. Which then I, Prince, yes, I played Prince, but I had the strong feeling at the time that someone had backed out at the last minute. No. Well, you say that now. <laughs> How am I going to prove you wrong? Hugh, I remember you when you were shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's sweet. <laughs> but of course it was absolutely thrilling because by that time, uh, Stephen had been doing most of the second series. Yeah, he was Melchett, wasn't he? That's right, he was Melchett. <laughs> all that stuff. And, uh, you know, I had pangs, of course, pangs of jealousy, and it was a real thrill to get a, a ticket onto that ocean Oh, but that the boots liner. on the other foot now, I think. Um, no, Dr. no, House. no, no. There, there are two, two boots, two feet, John. Um, uh, plenty of boots to go around. Um, uh, but yes, it was, it, was a, it was a thrill, I remember that, to be, um, to be part of the whole. Terribly exciting. So when you first came in as Simon Partridge and then as Ludwig, do you remember it I think being... I may be the only person who played two separate it, roles, In the same the series, yes. In the same series. Yes. But anyway. Do you remember how chaotic it was? Yes. I, re I remember nothing else. <laughs> it was a free-for-all in a way. I mean, not a free-for-all. I mean, of course, it was ordered chaos. And you were pulling the, uh, you know, the puppet master was uh, tweaking us. Uh, in various directions. And at the middle of it all, I do think that Rowan's, the way, Rowan's sort of demeanor, the way he handled the whole thing was absolutely astonishing looking back on it. How he, because he had to hit that sort of very difficult balance between, I mean, he's playing the main character, he's playing the title role, and he's got to take responsibility for it and hold the center of it. But at the same time, he, he has to let other people flourish around him and contribute to, to other people's, and, and he sort of, kept such a wonderful atmosphere of calm he in the middle cross, of He wasn't cross, was he? Amazing. He wasn't. He could have been really he cross. He was incredibly generous and yet never sort of, never sort of shrugged and let other people run away with it. He always had control of it. He always had, took responsibility mm. for it. He was the adder and he had to be the adder and he sort of owned it if, in that um, modern expression. Um, but at the same time, he let everyone else sort of, uh, well, argue and bicker and uh, yeah, and, you know, go off at weird tangents. I seem to remember that we would write lines for him as well, so that, you, that you'd have to have which, a... which he then mouthed to himself. Yes. He's sort of replaying them like a. Yes, that's funny. You know, it's just wonderful to watch him sort yes, of absolutely. doing the, doing this weird calculations that he does. The fourth series was terrifically enjoyable. It, it had because it had at, at its backdrop the greatest tragedy of uh, modern man and, and that gave the thing a, uh, a poignancy and a texture that I don't, that, that few other things I've ever been involved in have had or could have had. You know, we had various um, histories of the First World War were lying about. I don't know who supplied them, where they came from, but I suppose the designers wanted photographs and they just seemed to be about the place material. And in an idle moment, I think we were all sort of gradually um, soaking up these uh, absolutely heartbreaking details of life in the trenches and the loss to that generation. Thank you so Chats. much. Here. Sorry to, to, to rush off. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And uh, go well. Okay. Cheers. Bye.